<laughs> Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this video, we're going to talk about importing and exporting tracks using the Tascam DP24 Digital Porter Studio. The DP24's Audio Depot feature allows users to import and export individual tracks to and from a computer via USB. Importing and exporting tracks allows DP24 users to collaborate with other people and platforms. You can export individual tracks, process them outside the DP24 any way you see fit, and then import those same tracks back into the unit for final mix down and mastering. All imported and exported tracks are WAV or WAV format files. The type of WAV format file for import into the DP24 must be Microsoft 16-bit pulse code modulated or PCM format. The bitrate for those files should be 1411 kilobytes per second or KBPS. Let's take a look at importing tracks. Connect the DP24 to your PC via the DP24's USB menu function. Copy the files you want to import from your PC to the DP24's Audio Depot folder. After that, disconnect the DP24 from your computer. The files copied must have a single byte alphanumeric character name. What this means is that the file must be named something like TRAC5 or Track 5, or you could name it TRAC1, Track 1. It doesn't matter what you name it as long as the file name fits this format. Press the menu button to open that screen. Select the Audio Depot category and then press the F4 button. The WAV files that can be imported will be shown. Select the WAV file you want to import and then press the F1 button. All of the empty tracks that you can import to will appear. Select the track you want to import. If the WAV file is in stereo, you must select an empty track pair. Tracks 13 through 24 are track pairs or stereo tracks. Press the F4 button and you will see a confirmation message. Press the F2 button to execute the import. After the import, a screen pops up and you are then returned to the Audio Depot screen. A lack of space or the wrong file format will display an error message. In that event, correct the error and repeat the process. Here are some important facts to pay attention to when importing files into the DP24. Importing a WAV file whose attribute does not match the current song attribute within the DP24 will cause an error. For example, if a current song attribute is 44.1 kHz and you try to import a 48 kHz WAV file, you will get an error. Keep that in mind. When no file can be imported, a file not found message will be displayed. If the file name is too short, spaces will appear after the import name on the screen. However, no spaces will show in the actual name of the file. Now let's look at how to export tracks. Press the menu button on the DP24 to open that screen. Select the Audio Depot category on the screen and then press the F4 button. Now press the F2 button. The WAV files that can be exported will be shown. Empty tracks will not be displayed. Select the WAV file or files that you want to export and then press the F2 button. A check mark will appear next to the selected track. You can select multiple tracks if you desire. Press the F4 button to export the tracks and you will see a confirmation screen. Now press the F2 button to export the tracks to the Audio Depot folder on the DP24. After the pop-up message appears, the display returns to the Audio Depot screen. Connect the Tascam DP24 to your PC via the USB function on the DP24. Copy the files you exported from the DP24's Audio Depot folder to your PC. The following is important to remember when exporting tracks from the DP24. If a track with the same file name already exists in the Audio Depot folder, a number is then added to the end of that file name. 
you can only export BP24 mastered files from the unit. You cannot import a file that has been mastered by the DP24 back into the unit. Now here's a tip for you. Export your tracks as mono, not stereo. Now if you do this, you can then import those same tracks to any empty track within the DP24 that you want. Well that about wraps it up. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new videos coming out each week and we'd love to have you be a part of our group. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think about the video. Also, while you're here at the channel, take a look around at some of the other videos and listen to the music and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.